Hello, blogosphere. Uh, it is the 23rd of December, the day before the night before Christmas, and I'm just recording to cap my day. Um, it was pretty, pretty chill. Today I had a driver's lesson, and that was kind of the bulk of what I did. Um, we went grocery shopping in the morning, and it was insane. Like, the grocery stores are just packed with people because everyone's doing their shopping, like, right now, even though Christmas is in two days. So, that's great. Um, common sense continues to reign over the world as we know it, which is so comforting right now. Um, <laughs> well, today I also started Game of Thrones, which is somewhere behind this computer. And it's it's really pretty good so far. i had been meaning to read it for a long time, but because I was banned from doing so by my parents, um, yeah, that didn't last because, honestly, my dad's like, this is the best book ever, and he really wants someone to talk about it with. So that's me right now. Um, sorry for the weird lighting because I'm kind of like, the camera was just blah, 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 wasn't registering um, any expressions or features over there the comfortable place, so we're on the ground, which is just great. Um, no, uh, it's almost Christmas, which is awesome. I'm just kind of working away at my goal of being relaxed. I got all of my final grades pretty much, um, put in for the semester, which feels great. I mean, it's good to see them all in there. They're all what I wanted them to be. And now it's kind of just like this cruise time, which is nice. Uh, I get to focus on exercising on rice hour scholars um getting to know some of my classmates from afar which has been really fun the group is still like growing and there's so many interesting people on there it's just mind-blowing um golly what else Ooh, yeah so my family i wrapped their christmas presents this one is for mom and um it's, it's cool. I mean, it's not the... I feel horrible about getting it, but I really feel like it's going to be helpful and good. So I think she'll appreciate it and hope she likes it. This one is for my dad, and I am so excited because he's been looking for it for a long time, and he can't find it, and I haven't told him that it's impossible to find it because I wanted to be able to give it to him and be like, Aha! No other way you would have gotten this. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so that should be fun. Today, me and my family were kind of reminiscing about childhood, like our respective childhoods and moving here and everything that has happened and everything that's changed. And, um, I don't know, it's weird. A lot of things go through your mind when you think about what's happened and what could have been. Um, I don't know. I Now I'm friended, like, on Facebook with a lot of these people that kind of made my life, I don't want to say hellish, because a lot of people have been through actual hell, like, terrible things in their middle school or, you know, adolescent time, I guess you'd say. And so I don't have a right to complain or say that it was terrible. Um, but it was pretty bad. I mean, I got like shunned by my friends for about six months and that was awful. I mean, I don't really know what possesses or compels a person to do that sort of thing to somebody else. But, um, you know, I, I also met my closest friend ever uh, through that process, so it was really, it was healthy in a way, but I, I mean, I'm just thinking about all of these things, I guess, because you can kind of see these sort of experiences, like the whole Harvard thing or anything else, as vindication in one way, because it makes you feel like you weren't crazy all the time, and when you were feeling kind of alone or like, what the heck am I doing here, I don't feel like I fit in at all, um, not like in a, like a superior that superiority complex kind of way because it doesn't feel like that when you're in it um you just kind of feel out of out of sorts and like you don't really connect and maybe you know you feel like there's something wrong with you or there's something great about you that no one else can see and how often is it really the latter you know you live in a world where pretty much every social ill is diagnosed as a disorder and my parents weren't really apt to do that sort of thing they never really went out of the way to try to say there was something wrong with us so we never went down that road, thankfully. I feel very grateful for that now because it kind of helped me find myself, my personality, but, you know, in retrospect, just a lot of things happened, and it was, it was, I'm grateful for a lot of it, I have to say. Um, there's still so much to process. I'm so glad to have this break because I don't know. I don't know what's the next step or what I'm supposed to be thinking about right now. 
um, yeah, just think about Christmas, <laughs> enjoying that, because this is, it's going to be different next year, and I'm just trying to appreciate what this is right now, so I can enjoy it um, to the utmost. And I will be checking in again tomorrow on Christmas Eve. Bye.